What's up, Jamar Rashawn back with another video. Former Division I defense and back that likes to break down film. I always introduce myself because I never want to assume you guys know who I am. Today's future athlete is linebacker Shaquille Barrett. He finished the season with 37 tackles, four sacks, two forced fumbles, one fumble recovery, and he played 67.21% of the snaps. That's damn near a starter if you ask me. This guy can flat out ball. I believe in 2018 he's going to play his way into a contract extension. Let's check the film out. Five shade against Kuhn, he does a jab stutter. He has to be mindful of the chip block of Gordon. He does a good job of bending the elbow and getting the sack on Phillip Rivers. Seven technique, he's going to stun inside of the C gap, which is inside of Jason Witten, to cause the zone run to bounce back. Does a good job of just being firm and pretty much making the tackle on Zeke. Five technique, zone left. He is the quarterback boot first, then cutback player second. He does both responsibilities and make the tackle. Seven technique read option. Prescott is reading Barrett. Barrett plays it perfect. Pretty much gives him an uh, undecisive look, so he has to give to Zeke, and he just does his job. Five technique against Smith. He does a good job with his hand placement with the left shoulder tap on Smith's left shoulder. Then he's going to do a right hand swat, bend the elbow to defeat the chip block. But now this is just a hustle play. He wanted it. Um, I love to see my defensive ends, linebackers get after the QB like that. Five technique zone left versus Smith. He has outside run contain, has to keep his outside hand free. Initially, he takes a false step, but he corrects himself to make Zeke run out of bounds. Seven technique versus Witten, the play call is power with the guard Martin pulling. He does a good job with his hand placement. Watch his push pull. Now he's just getting off of the block to make the play in the backfield. Five technique zone stretch to the right. Bad hip and hand placement by the tackle Mills. Barrett pretty much makes him look unathletic right there to get in the backfield on Shady. Seven technique versus O'Leary. He does a good job of staying home, which is the D-gap. He does a phenomenal job with his hand placement. Boom, right there. He creates separation so he can see through the backfield. And Shady tries to cut back through the D-gap, and he was right there where he needed to be. Barrett is in a cock seven technique. It's an unbalanced formation, so he already know what's coming. He just shoots through the D-gap to make the play in the backfield on Lynch. High technique versus Flowers. Flowers does a good job with his initial kick step and pass set, but with Eli stepping up in the pocket, it was nowhere else for him to block, so Barrett just made the play. Seven technique versus Hunter. He does an outstanding job with his hand placement. Right here, he's going to shoot both hands through the upper breastplate, push, pull, rip, and make the play on Gordon. Eight technique. He's a little slow to pass rush due to the tight end's release, but he does a good job with his uh moves right here he's going to hit fisher with the left right left put the right hand on his outside shoulder and just run the elbow and now he's attacking the upfield shoulder of alex smith to cause the fumble seven technique zone left he's going to crash the c gap which is inside of kelsey the pocket moves so therefore he has to move and now he's all over there before the play can even get started Nine tech, the tight end down block, so he has to step replace. The play call is a counter, but he has to be aware of the backside guard and tackle pulling. He does a good job of wrong arming it to pretty much slow and cause a disruption to make the play in the backfield. That was fucking phenomenal, and you have to think about all of that in three seconds. Nine technique, he's reactive. He waits on pin, so he's going to hit pin with the left hand stab on his left shoulder, right hand swat. Now he bends the elbow, turns the corner, and attack the upfield shoulder on car to get the force fumble. Seven technique versus Roberts. The play call is a read option. Why would you do this, Raiders? Why wouldn't you have a tight end in Roberts place? But anyway, Barry shoots both hands and runs into the play. That was just a dumb play call, dumb personnel set up by the Raiders. I don't get it. Barrett is in the nickel. He's playing cover two. He's outside leverage of Crowder, so he has anything that threatens the flat. Boom, right there. Keith Marshall threatens the flat. Now he draws back in coverage. Now he sees that it's a run and does a good job of closing in on Kirk Cousins. Nine technique zone right. He does a good job of two gapping it. Once he sees that P run is no longer an outside threat, he's just going to dip back in the cookie jar and make the play. Five technique to play calls a read option. He has Patrick Mahomes. God has pretty much made this play, and he was just there to clean it on up. 
That's what you like to see, your guy doing his job. And there you guys have it, Shaquille Barrett. This guy's going to be a star, if not already, in most people's opinions. He's one in mine. Um, I believe he's going to play his way into a big contract. So be on the lookout for that, Shaquille Barrett. Get at me on Twitter. Let's get my Twitter gang popping, TTG Film Room. Get at me on Snapchat, TTG For Real. Like some pictures and some videos, TTG For Real on IG. And if you need work done, get at me on my email, ttdproductions at yahoo.com. And if you like my dope-ass content, hit the subscribe button. It's free.